Hi and welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Uh, before I get started, I just want to make a note um, and thank those of you who have subscribed. Uh, as you can see here, I am at uh, 104 subscribers. Um, I just got to 100 on Wednesday, so I just wanted to uh, thank those of you who have subscribed already. Um, so today's tutorial um, is going to be about making um, an image gallery with uh, next and previous buttons. So there's going to be an image in the middle and then uh, previous and then a next button so you can cycle through them. So basically what I have set up here is a um, document that's 550 by 500 pixels and it has a black background. Um, and I have four layers. I have uh, actions, images, buttons, and base. And then I have four images that I'm going to be using. Uh, they're the same ones as I used in the other image gallery tutorial. So first off, uh, we're going to need to size our images. So just go to this images layer um, and drag one of your images onto the um, the middle here and then size them to I'm going to be using 320 by 240 and then the positioning is going to be 113 by 107 so that's right there in the middle alright now for the second image you're going to go to the next frame on that uh, layer and then right click and do insert keyframe so I'm just going to drag my second image on there and I'm going to size it the same way. So 320 by 240 and 113 by 107. Alright, so now you can see it's on top of the other one. Uh, I'm just going to go and do that with the other two images and I'll be back in a second. Alright, so now I'm finished um, actually putting each of these images on its own frame. Um, they're all positioned on the same uh, in the same spot. So now what we're going to need to do is go to uh, base, the base layer, and this is kind of an optional thing but it makes it look pretty nice when uh, each of the images has a border. So just take your rectangle tool and then drag out a rectangle. Um, just it doesn't really matter how big it is because we're going to size it down. Then grab your selection tool, click on it, and then make the size 324 by 244 and then make the positioning 111 by 105 and make the color white or at least that's what I'm going to be using. So now you can see there's kind of a border around the images and when I go first of all I'm going to right click on this and then do copy frame and then paste frame out to here. So now it's on all of them so when you go through them it, look, it looks like uh, each image, image has its own uh, border. So it's just a nice effect that I uh, wanted to apply. So now go to your buttons layer and we're actually going to add the buttons so uh, grab your text tool make sure that the text is set on wingdings or sorry webdings uh, it should be towards the bottom and then make the size about something like uh, 175 and I'm going to be using a text color of um, it's six nines so it's just a kind of a light gray so just click with your text and then press 3 for the previous button and then align that how you would like it on your images or next to your images and then create the next one and that one is going to be a 4 which gives you the button looks like a play button but it's also a forward button so and you can uh, kind of size this up with your um, with your arrow keys or you can drag it around so that looks like it's in about the same position as the other one so now what we need to do is actually make these into buttons. So I'm going to click on one, hit F8, make sure it's on button, and then I'm just going to call it BTN1. Click OK, and then give it an instance name of BTN1. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one, hit F8, BTN2, make sure that BTN2, make sure it's on button, click OK, and then give it an instance name of BTN2. So now we need to copy this frame and paste it out on four so that it is on um, all of our frames. So now what we're going to do is go to the actions um, layer and actually make this thing run. So just click on the first uh, frame there and then go to actions down here. And the first action is just going to be a stop action. So stop, open, close parenthesis, and then hit enter a couple times. And we're going to actually uh, make the buttons run. So we're going to do btn1 uh, dot add event listener 
And then we're gonna do open parenthesis mouse event. Those are capitals on the M and the E. Um, and then dot, and then all caps, click, and then a comma, and then uh, button one with this backwards button. So we're gonna just give it a, um, a function of backward. So I'm gonna do an end parenthesis and a semicolon. And then I'm just gonna copy that with control C. I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna paste it with control V. And I'm gonna change this to forward. And I'm gonna change this to button two. So now we need to write those functions uh, backward and forward. So I'm just gonna uh, do forward first. So just type function, space forward, and then open parenthesis, uh, event, colon, and then it's gonna be a mouse event, E-V-E-N-T, um, with capital M and a capital E, and then a close parenthesis and an open curly bracket. Hit enter, and then we're gonna type if, and then this dot current frame, um, if that is equal to, well, you're gonna do space equal equal space, and if that's equal to this dot total frames, and the frames on both of these are, uh, well, this one's frame and this one's frames, but they both have a capital F, uh, so make note of that. And then that's gonna be close parenthesis and then open curly bracket. So basically what this is saying is if the current frame is the last frame, which the total frames is the last frame. So if it's the total frame, then we're gonna want it to actually go back to the beginning. So that's what we're gonna write next. So we're gonna say, we're gonna hit enter, and then we're gonna say go to, and a capital and, and a capital stop, and then we're gonna want it to go back to the first um, frame. So basically if it hits the last uh, image, if we click the forward button, then it's gonna go back to the first frame um, and restart the cycle. So, but if it's not um, the first, or if it's not the last frame, then we want it to just go forward. So we're gonna have to do an else statement. So I'm gonna hit, I hit enter, and then I'm gonna do close curly bracket. I'm gonna do enter, and then I'm gonna type else. And then I'm gonna do open curly bracket, enter, next frame. So now it'll just go to the next frame um, if it's not on the last one. So open close parenthesis, and then a semicolon, and then hit enter, close curly bracket, enter, close curly bracket. Now what we need to do is just copy this function and then we're gonna paste it and we're just gonna change a couple of things to make it apply for the other one. So we're gonna do backward right here instead. And this one is going to, basically these are going to flip flop if this one is one. So I'm just gonna copy this. If this is one, then this is gonna be the opposite of that. So basically, if the current frame is one and you press the backward button, then it's gonna go to the total frames or the last frame. So it's gonna start going through the cycle backwards. And then else, um, we don't want it to go to the next frame, we want it to go to the previous frame, not preveb. So just uh, P-R-E-V and then frame. So now this should be working. So I'm gonna do control test movie and it appears to be working, so if you remember this first image is the tree one, you can just continue on and get to the tree one, and if you go back, we can get to the tree one again. So this is a pretty simple image gallery. If you wanna uh, spice it up a little bit, you could add some uh, fades on this image. Um, you could add some rollovers on the buttons. Uh, but this is just kinda to get you started. Um, so what I want you to do is uh, make sure you subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.